We've been warning you for months, actually about six months, that as soon as the election was held, Obama would proceed to a global, armed, global gun control treaty uh, to impose gun control on the United States. And originally this was supposed to be signed on July 27th, but we all raised hell. You, through our website, sent 700,000 emails to United States senators, and as a result, Hillary and Obama backed off. Well, the day after Election Day, the results weren't dry on the election yet, and the United States voted with an overwhelming majority to reopen negotiations on this treaty between March 18th and March 28th of 2013. They are going to sign this treaty, and they are going to try to jam it through the 55-45 Democratic majority Senate that was just elected. And unless we can persuade 11 Republicans, uh, I'm sorry, 34 Republicans to stand up to this and hold the ranks of the rhinos down to 11, uh, this will become the law of the land. And it will be, the House will have nothing to do with it because it's being done by treaty. Now, just to recoup for those of you that haven't been following it, this is a proposal to set up an international commission to regulate small arms sales, rifles, machine guns, assault rifles, grenades, from private individuals or corporations in any country to gangs, terrorist groups, insurgencies, rebels, non-government entities in other places of the world. Now, the whole thing is totally phony because 90% of the small arms exports are not by companies or private individuals, they're by governments. And they're by four governments, the United States, Israel, Russia, and China. So to do a treaty for the small arms exports of individuals is a completely fanciful thing. There's very little of it going on. But they're doing the treaty for one reason, so they can use this as a backdoor way to impose gun control on the United States without the Republican House of Representatives being able to say boo about it. So what this does is it says that each country has to adopt means to stop the exportation of these small arms. Now, obviously, the first thing you got to do to stop the export is to register them. Get a registry of what exists, who has licenses, when they got it, and what firearms they've got. That's something that the gun owners in this country have been resisting for 50 years. And many people think the Second Amendment would bar. But if we sign to do it in a treaty, Second Amendment doesn't apply. The treaty becomes the law of the land. And then once that's done, the United Nations auditing and governing body will study how effective we are in eliminating the exports. And two or three years from now, they're going to conclude that registration hasn't worked. We need to go to confiscation. And you're going to have a UN imposed gun control on the United States. Now, this is something we can defeat. This is not something we have to lie down and take because we lost the election because they need two-thirds of the vote of the U.S. Senate to ratify this treaty. And we need to find 34 Republicans who are willing to stand up and say no. Now, initially, 51 senators, including some Democrats, said they would not approve the treaty, and that caused Hillary to back off signing it. But they're going to include some phony language that nothing in this treaty shall be construed as to interfere with the individual's right to bear arms. And it's not going to mean a damn thing because it's not enforceable in court. The UN can do whatever it likes. And the, there's no international court to hold them in. And the treaty will go ahead and be, be ratified, be implemented, and become de facto gun control in the United States. But we can stop it. We can block ratification. So please, let's raise some hell here. Um, sign the petition that's attached to this video and send it to all your friends, relatives, neighbors, associates, fellow hunters, and get them on board. And we'll send an email to your two senators from every petition signer. If you've signed before us another petition, sign it again. We need emails to go to these senators and get more people to sign up than you have before. Uh, put on your hard address so we know who your senators are. And stay tuned to my videos. We'll be working on this issue straight through until March and then until it comes up for ratification. And we're going to have all kinds of stuff that we're going to do to try to block this treaty. So stay tuned. And thanks a lot for watching.